Hello everyone, welcome all of you in my this video and in this video I am going to teach you one of the questions which was asked in CSIR June 2018 of WKB Math. Okay, as in my previous videos I have explained you examples of WKB method. So this also is very easy to solve. Okay, so let's start with the question here the question is the nth energy eigenvalue en of a one dimensional hamiltonian which is given as this where lambda greater than 0 is constant in the wkb approximation is proportional to here we have given one Hamiltonian okay, of one dimensional and here we have to find out the nth energy eigenvalue is proportional to the which power of n that means we have to find the energy eigenvalue varies with which power of lambda and n that we have to find out here okay so in this question if we use the trick method it will be not valid here because as you can see here in these two option if you see the n power is given say lambda is different that you can find out but what about the n power okay so because of this similarity you cannot use the trick method here here we have to use the traditional method so this is also very very simple okay so let's start so first of all we will write the given of this question so in this question we have given one hamiltonian that is this and we know that hamiltonian which is equals to the total energy okay that is h which is equals to e so what we can write e that will be equals to p square upon 2m plus lambda x raised to 4 now p square upon 2m is kinetic energy and this is our potential energy okay so here from this we can write potential energy is lambda x raised to 4 so from this equation we have got our potential energy okay so now for this potential we'll find out the turning point okay so about the turning point already in my one of the video of wkb approximation method i have explained you in details so now we will not going to in detail we'll start solve so at the turning point momentum becomes zero so what will happen with this equation momentum becomes zero that means this becomes zero so we'll have energy equals to lambda x raised to 4 that is energy equals to potential okay so here e will be equals to v of x that is e will be equals to lambda x raised to 4 okay so now from this equation we can get the value of x so here x raised to 4 we will get e by lambda that is this so x will be what it will be e by lambda raised to 1 by 4 this we will get value of x okay so here two turning point we will get lowest and highest one x1 that will be equals to 0 and x2 will be equals to e by lambda raised to 1 by this turning point we will get okay so i hope we have understood up to this what we have done uh, we have given hamiltonian equation that is equals to total energy so from this equation we have got potential energy and further step is same as i have explained you earlier okay so now after find out the turning point what's the next step we have to use the wkb quantization condition Okay, so what is the formula for that? Integration of x1 to x2 p of x dx which is equals to n plus half of pi h cross. Okay, now in this what we will do? We will substitute our values. Clear? Now, what is the value of momentum? Momentum value that we know from this we will get root over of 2m of e minus v of x okay if you are getting any difficulties of getting this 
so you can watch my previous video in that i have explained in detail how you will get this momentum value from this equation okay easily you can see now p square that you will get 2me minus of 2m this okay then take 2m outside you will get e minus of this and p you will get root over of that that means you will get this value okay clear if you want i will explain you here see what you will get p square that will be 2m 2m will be multiplied here also and here also so we can take 2m out common so e minus it will come here so it will becomes minus lambda x raised to 4 so what we will get here p will be root over of 2m of e minus lambda x raised to 4 and lambda x raised to 4 is what it is v of x what is so 2m of e minus v of x that is this value we will get momentum and the right hand side we will write as it is okay and here we have substituted the limits x1 0 x2 is e by lambda 1 by 4 okay so now here 2m we can take outside as a constant inside what we will get e minus lambda x raised to 4 dx and right hand side we will write as it is now to solve this in easy way what we will do is we will do some mathematical steps we will take this as t hold inside term that is e minus lambda x raised to 4 we will take as t clear so e minus lambda x raised to 4 i have taken as t so when you do the derivative of this whole what you will get minus 4 what is the derivative of x raised to 4 it is 4 x raised to cube so minus 4 lambda x raised to cube dx this will become 0 which is equals to dt so dx will be what minus dt and this will goes down so what we will get 4 lambda x raised to cube this we will get the value of dx okay now limit will also change okay at x is equals to 0 and this at both limit will change now so when value of x is 0 when the value of x is 0 what you will get the value of t now substitute x value 0 here what you will get this becomes 0 so t will be simply e clear now, similarly when you put x equals to e by lambda 1 by 4 that is this value so what will happen with this equation what you will get t when you substitute x as e by lambda so see here we have e minus lambda x raised to 4 okay which is equals to t so e minus lambda x value is what what i am substituting here lambda already 4 is there here 1 by 4 that is this we will get it so this will cancel now raised to we have 1 so lambda lambda cancel and e minus e we will get 0 so t value becomes 0 what is so now our limit is what instead of 0 we will get e and instead of this we will get 0 that is limit will be e to 0 ok so I have given the equation name here so now what is the next step that we have to do is we have to substitute now this equation b1 b2 in equation a ok so now we will substitute b1 b2 equation in the equation number a ok so now after substituting what we will get root over of 2m and limit will change from e to 0 okay and inside we will get root over of t because this whole we have considered as a t so inside we will get root over of t and instead of dx we will write this equation that is this we have written here okay and the right hand side we will take as it is okay now as we can take some term as a constant that is 4 lambda we can take outside minus sign we can take outside okay and this x cube what is the value of x here it is x here it is e by lambda okay e by lambda that is raised to 1 by 4 this we have got the value of x okay so x cube will be what it will be e by lambda 
x cube that is 3 by 4. This we will get the value of x cube. So instead of this x cube, we will substitute this value. Okay. So if we take x cube outside, that is this value if we take outside. So it is in upon. So we can if we if we I want to write it here on the upside. So what how I can write this? It will be like this lambda by e raised to 3 by 4. Like this we can write. Okay. So here lambda by e 3 by 4. I have written. And the whole thing I will be write as it is. Okay. So inside we'll have only root of t. To this I can write t raised to half and everything as it is. So now we know that um, what is the integration of t raised to half? It will give us t raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. And the limit we will write as it is. And here every term I have written as it is. And here right hand side will be also as it is. Now when we put the limit inside what we will get? 0 minus e raised to 3 by 2. And this 3 by 2 I can write 2 by 3 in multiplication. Okay. And here this minus root 2m I have written as it is 4 as it is now this lambda I have taken on upside so what we will get here lambda inverse and here we have lambda also there that is lambda raised to 3 by 4 separately we can write and if you want to write e separately on upside so what we will get at the numerator that is e raised to minus 3 by 4 okay so inside this we have got from the integration and right hand side as it is. So now we will solve for this. So here if you see minus minus becomes plus sign. Okay. Root 2m upon 4 as it is. This 2 by 3 I have written here. When you multiply this 2 you will get lambda raised to the power minus 1 by 4. And when you multiply this 2. Now here minus minus plus now. So e minus 3 by 4 into e raised to 3 by 2 when you multiply this 2 you will get this value. Okay. Clear 3 by 4 and the right hand side as it. So this I can write like this. See 2 root over of 2m upon 4 into 3 that is 12. Okay. And lambda raised to 1 by 4 on the denominator we can write lambda raised to 1 by 4 that is like this. And e raised to 3 by 4 as it is and the right hand side as it is clear so now we have got this but we want the value of energy proportionally so e raised to 3 by 4 if we take on the left hand side and we have to shift all this value on the right hand side so it will be becomes first i can divide this 12 by 2 so here we will get 1 and here we will get 6 so after doing mathematical steps what we will get here lambda 6 into lambda raised to 1 by 4 on the numerator upon root over of 2m on the denominator and this value will be as it is because we have taken all this on the right hand side and here on the left e raised to 3 by 4 clear now simply here we have to find the e so e will be what all this value raised to the power of here we have 3 by 4 if you remove this from here so here we will get 4 by 3. okay so now from this this is our answer and from this we can write our answer that is e proportional to lambda okay so here lambda we have 1 by 4 which is multiplied with 4 by 3 so what we will get here also this raised to 4 by 3 is there. Okay. So what we will get? Lambda raised to 1 by 3. Because this 4, 4 get cancelled. So E proportional to lambda by 1 by 3. And if we compare with N. So E proportional to N plus half with 4 by 3. That is this answer. Okay. So together we can write E varies with N plus half raised to 4 by 3 into lambda 1 by 3. So, this answer we have got. Hope you have understood all these steps. Okay. 
so basically which option is correct option number a is correct that is this see here we have got n plus half 4 by 3 into lambda raised to 1 by 3 okay so here also if you can see we have n power 4 by 3 but lambda we have 2 by 3 that's why we cannot use a trick method to solve okay so we have got the option number a so if you have any doubt regarding this numerical you can ask me in the comment section okay so in my next video i'm going to solve some other example of the previous years net exam okay so watch my next video and please like share and subscribe my video and also if you have liked this video comment in the comment section okay thank you